Hello everyone and welcome to Ice Scrap Happy Video. I'm coming to you guys with another Teach Me Tuesday tutorial for MB's Treasurista and I will have all the information down below about how you can go about purchasing some of the items that I'll be using in my project today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm working on a brag book. And a brag book is just a little mini album or just a little album that you can throw in your purse with pictures that you want to brag about. So um, I'm putting together a little brag book for my son who will be um, stepping up from kindergarten to first grade. Yay! So excited. And his ceremony will be next week. And I plan to fill this little brag book that I'm putting together with little pictures, um, wallet sized pictures from his um, stepping up ceremony. So um, you want to keep it really simple when you're putting together a brag book, nothing too bulky, because you're throwing it in your pocketbook, you're pulling it in and out, and you don't want anything that's going to fall off or, you know, not look too good after a while. <laughs> so I just went with really simple embellishments, and I'll talk a lot more about that towards the end of the video. The purpose of this video is to share with you all how you can cover your chipboard uh, mini albums or chipboard pieces um, when you purchase them. So... For example, this um, chipboard piece, I've already covered the back, because you can purchase, if it's available, the pre-cut designer paper that goes along with your um, chipboard pieces, and that makes it easier. That's probably the simplest way of covering your chipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm using liquid glue. And you want to be sure to use a photo safe glue. Um, acid free, linen free. I'm just using Eileen's tacky glue. I'm not sure if it is photo safe or not. I would recommend Scotch quick dry adhesive, but mine, I'm out of it, so I'm using the Eileen's. And if you are using liquid glue, be sure to use your brayer to just run it across it to, you know, get rid of any lumps that may occur because of the glue. And you can pick this up in Michael's. So there, so that's the first way to cover your chipboard, using pre-cut pieces of die cut. The next way that you can cover your chipboard is by using um, the close cutting technique is what I'm going to call it. So for that, you want to um, use your designer paper and what you're going to do is you're going to take your die cut piece, you'll notice that this one has a scallop on the end, and you want to trace it using a pencil or a pen on your die cut paper. As closely as possible that you can get to the image. There we go. So I have it on there and then just cut it out. And you're gonna do the same thing and cover, glue it onto your chipboard piece. So I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's gonna take a while, but you know, just go ahead and cut it down as best as you can to the shape and size of the piece that you drew out. Being careful not to cut off your scallop edges. And I'm not using the best ruler scissors for this, but um, definitely use the same scissor you would use for um, fussy cutting or paper piecing. My scissor of choice is stashed somewhere. But yeah, so you want to go ahead and just cut out your piece as closely as possible to the, sh the image or the shape and go ahead and glue it down. The third way that you can do this is by close cutting. And what I mean by that is you take your paper, you actually glue it down to your chipboard. I'm going to do this with you guys because this one's fairly quick. So if you're trying to get something done really quickly, um, I would recommend this technique. So I have my paper. I'm going to quickly lay it down. Get rid of the excess glue. I'm going to actually use my brayer to get rid of any of those lumps. And close cutting is exactly what it is close cutting so you want to cut it as close as possible to the shape you don't have to be exact because you're n probably not going to get it at the exact shape but just cut as close as you possibly can to the shape and you'll see I'm not really being very careful about it um, 
and I'm going to show you why. So I've just close cut the image. You'll notice it still has a lot of the white portion of it showing through. What you'll need for this is a, um, I'm just using your regular old, um, what is it called? <laughs> uh, come to me, come to me. I can't think of it. Emery board. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and simply file away the excess paper. And this technique works on straight edges really well. As you can see, that's the back of it. You can no longer see the white. And it works on your curved or intricate edges as well. What I recommend is turning the paper up this way towards the side you're trying to file away and file downwards. Just carefully strip away whatever pieces are hanging on there. And what I recommend as well to go along with this technique, there you'll go. You'll notice the white is all gone. Just to cover up the white edges that th show through from the paper, you could just go ahead and use your Distress Ink. I'm using Walnut Distress Ink, Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz, and I'm just going to go ahead and ink up the edges. And you just do that going all the way around. Voila! And no one can tell that you didn't actually buy the paper um, cut to fit your chipboard. And then there's another way that you can do that. If you don't want to go ahead and go through the cutting down the shapes or filing it down because it's too much work and you want to try to get something done really fast, you can paint the edges that are, you know, more difficult to cut around and just paint it with your paint of choice and then glue your paper down and again similarly ink up the edges you could put um, a piece of ribbon or a trim just to cover that edge where the paper meets the paint and voila so I've just showed you several ways that you can cover your chipboard pieces and now I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go ahead and finish my project and come back and share with you guys the finished project. Hello everyone, I'm back with the completed brag book. So this is it. I went ahead and I bound the, chip, the chipboard pieces with um, binder rings and I think that's perfect. Um, and this is the final product. So for this mini album, I used a um, AccuCut die cut, which are available on my blog. And uh, I covered it with the um, Pink Paisley Prairie Hill collection that Misty carries in the um, MB's Treasurista Zibit store. The link will be down below. And these are the paper that comes in the pack. And you get two of each of these designs. They are single-sided, and these were perfect for this project. I love that one, the grid lines. Okay, so that's the paper line. On the cover, I also used some of the twinery twine that Misty carries in her Zibit store, and she has it in a variety of different colors. And this is the one I used, a really pretty green color. And all right, let's just get to it. So that's the cover. And on the inside, I kept it really simple. If you're wondering, the stickers, I got them in uh, Walmart. And they were super cute. And they were 97 cents. So really cute. They had two different sets. I love these with the owls. So cute. I think I'm going to use those to make cards for my son's... Um, classmates. So that's that. Over here, this is the page that I painted up the edge and inked it up. And then I added the trim. 
to hide where the paper meets the painted edge. And this trim I also got from MB's Treasurista. It's the double-sided satin on organza box pleated trim and I used it in the ivory color. So really cute trim, love that. Here's the next one. These images are so cute. Love it. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and print out pictures from my son's stepping up ceremony and throw this in my pocketbook and I can pull it out and share it with my friends and my colleagues pictures from his ceremony. So really cute. Um, brag, books, brag books are an awesome way of just, you know, carrying around pictures with you that you want to share with your friends, family, and colleagues. So super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching another I Scrap Happy video. Again, for the um, supplies that I used, please check out the MV's Treasurista Zibit store. The link to the store will be down below the video in the description bar. Thanks guys. Bye.